Let me share my screen. Okay, can you see my yep. uh, screen? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna open up um, my Tiddly Wiki. Yep. And um, so again, this is the um, project where I'm going to take um, my IDT 553 project, yep. where I created the timeline and timeline JS and convert it to a, week, a wiki. Yeah. So I just created a tiddler a couple days ago just to kind of yep. Excellent. You know, jot down the things that I need to do. Yep. Um, By the way, do you, do you know, I don't know if you know, um, bullets, you're doing asterisks there, and, and number signs will give you numbers. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I learned just that. Make sure. Yep. Okay, good. Yeah. So as you can see here, the only thing that I was able to accomplish on my own was fixing that date format. Yeah. Okay, well, the sub, let's do the easy subtitle for the wiki. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, uh, I think the, thing, the, the two things, yeah. and if we can only accomplish one, that'll be fine. Yep. Um, when we talked on Monday, you, you got some flicker pictures, how, right? Yeah, how to bring in those pictures. And then I have a feeling whatever we figure out for that, Will you will be the same or very similar for YouTube and the audio sound cloud, cloud clips? So if we could focus on pictures. Okay, YouTube is going to be very time. different. Your picture, your 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 photos are Flickr, correct? They, yeah, they don't have to be though. Okay, yeah, it's um, I mean, there's not many, right? Uh, the, there's, yeah, there, there, there'll be quite a few, but you know, if we can do, are we talking, are we talking like thousands or thousands? Oh, much less than, a, uh, maybe I'm going to guess I had maybe 20 pictures at the most. Oh, 20. Okay. Yeah. A little less. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can, you could, uh, yeah, that's not, yeah. So there's not a driving need to automate it. You can basically brute force it and do it by hand. Yeah, that I can, I can brute force that. It's just yeah. with, the, with the whole template thing, I, I wasn't able to figure out how to get it to um, bring the pictures in. Yep, I know, yeah. Okay, and then the YouTube videos, um, those are actually, they're pretty well developed. Let's start with that. Okay. And um, so if you go to Design Right and search for YouTube, Okay, let me minimize the little our, yeah. our faces here. So if, you have the, if you have the newer version of uh, Zoom, it allows you to move that annoying green bar up and down the screen. You can put it on the bottom or top. Oh. So I, next I time you see an option to upgrade, it's worth it. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Yeah, you know, it's been nagging me to do that. And I, yep, but for that feature alone, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do it then when Here's we're done tonight. Macros. Oh, hang on. Yep. Persky wants me to do something. Let me just, um, okay. Yep. Okay. Hang on. All right. You, uh, okay. Do we want YouTube channel macros? YouTube macros. Okay. Yep. And edit that. And macros are actually incredibly easy. <laughs> so for example, that first one backslash define, and then the name of the macro is YouTube hyphen link. And then in parentheses, you put the parameter that you're going to send it. In this case, we're only sending one parameter, and it's named video. Okay. And then on the next line, you put what you want TiddlyWiki to write. So in this case, we wanted to write double square brackets, the word YouTube, and then the beginning of the link, H da 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 V equals, and then the name of our parameter, dollar sign video, dollar sign, close, close. And so what that'll do is it will take what you, what you put in there, and return that link. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So you can um, drag YouTube macros over to your wiki. Oh. oh. And <laughs> yeah, <on>. exactly. Oh. <laughs> right. All right. Let's try this again. Uh, so so you wanna, yeah, you want to get the yeah. You want you just some search for YouTube again. The easiest thing is click in that search box. Not the draft word. Yeah, click in that search box and it will show you YouTube macros and there's a nice link to it and you can drag up and drag and drop. Ah, uh, yeah, you missed it. <laughs> you have to go to that and hit back. Yeah, and it's, it's a little, it's just, uh, you're in Firefox, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, man, that thing is annoying. Hey, okay. Just bring your whole browser down a bit. That's what I'm going to do. All right, hang on. I got a lot of other things open here. Yep, I know how it is. Um, yeah, you still got skill that lock. So, yeah. Let me move that into its own. Yep. You on Windows or you're on Windows, right? Yeah, I'm a Windows user. There's supposed to be a way that, it, there you go. There's supposed to be a way that that just divides, you know, automatically. So go ahead and import that, of course. And now, do you have a, do you have a YouTube video somewhere here? Yep. A link to one? So let me find the first one. There it is. There it is. So click on that. I'll show you where to grab. Yeah, the other problem is now it's gonna launch. Is, the, is everything after that equals sign? Okay, let me just pause it because it's gonna start playing. Um, well, I think it's gonna play. Um, okay, so you need me to grab what again? Everything after the equals sign. Okay. And if you, I think I know in the Mac you can just double click on that and we'll grab just that part. But and then so copy that to your buffer. Yep. And do you have a clipboard buffer yet or no? <laughs> no, I need you a, get a clipboard that. buffer because what you do, go back to your spreadsheet. What you do to sort, you know, if you want to do this is you grab the URL, you grab the, hey, you know, so you'd maybe make three or four of these from yeah. your spreadsheet instead of going back and forth, back and forth. But we're also going to show you how you can import these very soon. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to worry too much about that. So well, um, for the, for the you, clipboard buffer, is that something I just search on Google for? Yeah, it's called a clipboard buffer, and it allows you to do copy, copy, paste, paste. It's a piece of software. Okay, I'll look and, for it tonight. Yeah, and then like I can, I have, and then for me to see my paste, instead of going paste, I hit like shift paste or something. Oh, and, and it shows you a list of them. And okay. then I can up and down to like the previous one hundred pastes, and you'd be amazed at how useful that is. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to see the, the usefulness. <laughs> yeah, so make a new tip. So go ahead and edit YouTube macros while we're here. Oh, you don't have a buffer. Oh, see, now is when we're going to need it. Yeah, you don't want to edit the import. You want to edit oh, the... Oops. Okay, yep, yep. Yeah, but you're going to need to create a new tiddler first because you don't have a clipboard buffer. Nah. And so go ahead and paste before you lose it and go back to the macro that you just imported. Um, I don't know where it is. I thought you just edited it. You can search for it. There it is. Uh, yep, there it is. Yeah. And so edit that and grab the first name of the macro. So just so it's YouTube hyphen link. Not just the name of the macro, YouTube hyphen link, comma video. You don't need the define. Yeah, exactly. Just Okay, so just this part. Yeah. And you don't even really need the video, just the YouTube hyphen link. And that's just so that you don't make a mistake with it. Okay, so copy that. Okay. And go to your new tiddler. Where you, it, yeah. Where you, yep. And then, and so right there. So because it's a macro, just like the word tag is a macro, this one is called YouTube. You open it and then close it in double angle brackets. Uh, those are curly braces. Oh, whoops. You said double brackets. Yeah, those are, yeah, there's bra square brackets, angle brackets, and curly braces. Those are squares. I call them angle brackets. Oh, these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you want to space after the word link. Okay. And then that's it. And then at the end, close it. Okay. And then, um, and so now I'll click on YouTube. Oh, look at that. There you go. Okay, you can close the YouTube. That's fine. It worked. It's actually a cool video. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go back to the macros. Okay. Uh, do you want me to save this draft? Yeah, just keep it open. Okay. So back to the macros. Yeah, and you can close all these extra tiddlers so that you've got few, less stuff going on. Yeah. I'm going to leave the... Well, no, I don't need the journal open. No, we can just find it. Yeah. Uh, there are the macros. Okay, so let's try YouTube hyphen embed. And, but let's just take a look at it quickly. What YouTube hyphen embed does is it puts the video inside of an iframe. Oh, okay. And then after the iframe, it puts a link to the video in case the iframe doesn't work. 
Oh, that's helpful. Yeah. Okay. They're okay. So let's try it. YouTube hyphen embed. You don't have to copy and paste. You can type if you'd like, but I was just showing you, you know, obviously once you know it, you know it. And yeah. Yeah. Right, so go back to that same uh, tiddler. Yep. And just change the link to embed. Oh yeah. Yeah. That'd be just as easy. And let's see what it does. Oh, look at that. That's nice. So, yeah. and it plays inside. Cool. Let's go back and look at the other macros. What else do we have going? And you can just grab the macros right there in your uh, recent list. But okay, so we've got YouTube Python display. So what do you think YouTube Python display does? Uh, oh, there it is. Um, well, let's see. We've already got it embedded. We had a link to it, so display. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure. So it's going to put a link to it on top for some reason, and then the iframe. But first, it's going to put bang, bang is like outline level heading two, remember? Yeah. And then it's going to put the contents of the field called description. So oh. go, go up to your new tiddler macro, or your, your new tiddler, yep, and create a field called description. And um, why don't you go to your spreadsheet and get the description for this. Okay, so that's the title. Um, pick one of them, it doesn't matter. I'll take the media caption. There you go. Okay. And click add. So, and then change it. I forget what it's called. YouTube, hyphen. Uh, I think it was display. Display, I think you're right. We'll find out. Living dangerously. Ah, I like that. Now, why would you do that instead of just typing the description in the tiddler? Well, if I'm using templates, I can. Exactly. Um, exactly. And you're going to import these from a spreadsheet in the column called description. Right. So it's going to write them automatically from your spreadsheet. So your, your, your data is controlled vocabulary in effect, kind of like what you guys do at work, but you use a spreadsheet to manage the stuff that's under control, and then you use yeah. the wiki to manage the display. So, okay, if it's going to pull it from the spreadsheet, is there a chance it could put that caption in twice if the oh. YouTube macro is already calling it out? What do you mean the YouTube macro is calling it out? You well, mean it's putting Japanese surrender right on that video there? Yeah, didn't you see? Yeah, okay, so in the, I guess I'm just not sure. Is there a chance that it would pull it in twice from whatever I import and then also from this macro? Because didn't you say the macro pulls from this description field too? The macro pulls, the macro is what's putting the description field in. See where it says Japanese surrender on your YouTube video? Right. That's YouTube is doing. We can't control that. Okay, so then if I do something in the template where I'm telling it to pull media caption and put it in a description field, is it going to do it twice? Maybe I'm not explaining what I'm thinking. No, um, just say that sentence again, except for then when you say, is it going to do it twice, replace it with a noun with a proper um, Tiddly wiki or the template? Well, the, so is tiddly wiki going to do what twice? Display the description twice? Yes. Um, when you put, if you change display back to embed, there's no description at all. Right, because, that'll go away. Because the embed macro doesn't call for description. Right. Only the display macro. And you can change the macro to be whatever you want. You're going to write you, YouTube John, and it's going to do exactly what you want. Yeah, so I guess I'll just have to see what it does. I, for some reason, I have something in my mind where it's gonna, it's gonna want to pull that line of text in twice if I do display. I guess I just have to play around with it and see what it does. Well, it's gonna pull that line of text in twice when I do display. You mean when you view the tiddler through the template, it's gonna display the description twice? That's some. For some reason, I think it okay, will. Close the tiddler. Close this one. Yeah. 
Okay. Don't, yeah, don't, yeah, just save it. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. yeah. All that work. Don't want to lose it. So you only, you don't see the display at all. Open the tiddler. Yeah, because I think I changed it. I think I changed it to embed. Yeah, it's fine. So on top of this, put the description field in inside of curly braces with exclamation points. Uh, you know what? I think maybe Tim didn't get a. No, there was a. There was a. Yeah. Okay. So now what it's doing is effectively exactly what display does. Yeah. So that's what I was wondering. If I do this, oops. If well, I... of course now it's going to display twice. Well, yeah. And that's what I was wondering. Um, yeah. Oh, but I still can't type. Yeah, okay. So I, I would just have to be careful of that. I mean, I kind of like the... Uh, the well, you, I, ideally, for these kinds of videos, and let's call this tiddler a YouTube tiddler. You're going to create tiddlers that are tag, tag at YouTube. Don't, don't name it, tag at YouTube. Oh, okay. And you're going to create a bunch of tiddlers tagged YouTube and a template for YouTube tiddlers. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you want to use them in your store, you just transclude that tiddler. And you're going to have tiddlers for photographs and you're going to have tiddlers for documents. You know, maybe you've got a document that's, you, you got a PDF that you want to display. Yep. Um, you know, so that's, so anyway, that's the YouTube. And if, and um, let's see what else, I, let me see what else I've got in the YouTube macros. Down at the bottom, there's the start stop, I think. YouTube, oh, yeah. Yeah, YouTube yeah, yeah. hyphen T. Like, yeah. Okay. Let me grab that. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to give it a start stop time. So, yeah, go ahead and try YouTube hyphen T. Looks like YouTube hyphen Y only has a start. <laughs> so, you can tell that I'm, I play. Okay. So, should I like just clone this one and try? Uh... Sure. All right. Let's do that. Tiddler one one. Okay. <laughs> um, this is YouTube hyphen T. And then um, after the number, a after the first value, hit a space. No, after the first parameter, which is the video. Oh, so over here. Yeah. Okay. The space and let's uh, give it a start time, uh, two colon zero zero. And a space and a stop time, you know, two colon ten. And let's see, hit play. Didn't work. That's I think right at the beginning. Yep, it didn't work. Yeah, no, it definitely didn't work. Yeah. So um. So go, let's go back and look at the macro. YouTube hyphen T, video comma start comma stop. Oh, it's com uh, no, commas? It shouldn't be. Um, and version equals three, YouTube hyphen T. So go to design right. And um, Right at the top, and then what's new? There's the one of the videos I think is going to be fastest way to get there. Click on, <laughs> click on home and look on the what's new. And I think it's in the oh two oh seven. I think. That's right. Yeah. Yep. And so let's edit this and let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, this is one where you guys talk about my guitars. <laughs> YouTube hyphen T. Oh, you know what it is? It's not, it's, it's all in seconds. Zero, five, sixty-six. So it's in seconds. 
Ah, okay. We'll go back to yours. And in, yeah, and there we are. Yep, and so instead of 200, it's what, 120? Yeah. No colon, just seconds. Oh, yep, 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 you're right. Yeah, and then 130. Now try it. Oh, yeah, you can see right where it jumps. Today's delegation lines up on the opposite side of the surrender table from the Alliance. A war which had entered its eighth terrible year in China, which had raged for three years and... Yeah, there you go. Cool. There go. <laughs> I like that. That's cool because you can like really like do zip, zip, zip clips. Um, the one thing that I want to find out someday is how can you take like five of those next to each other and hit play once and then play the five clips in a row? Oh. There's a way to do that because as soon as you can do that, now we've turned PiddlyWiki into a video editor. Yeah. Like... We can. You can make movies on the fly. I'm just going to put a note in here. Time must be in seconds. Yep. Okay. So there's your. We we solved. I think we've uh, we've gotten your YouTube situation con under yeah. control. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um. So when you go to make times time marks on your YouTube video, the one that we're recording, I can use that macro. You can use that macro and you can close the discussion about YouTube macros here and then you can have a start code for the thing we're going to talk about next. And you can eliminate the in-between conversation that we're having right now. Yes, I could. <laughs> so as a teacher, I, you, I mean, that's really powerful. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's just like, and it's, sim and it's not simple, but it's, once you get in your head that you, oh, you just have to think of, well, what would I want to do? How do I do it? Then, you, yeah. you, then you've got a way to figure it out. And, and, you know, it takes a while to get there. But the first thing is to recognize that pretty much what you want to do, you can do. So, okay. Um, audio clips. Okay. Let me just put a note in here that this is not again. <coughs> so what would be um, – is it – more beneficial to look at the pictures yet, or is this is our audio clips easier? Audio clips are short, so go to Design Right and search for audio. Okay, and you can read that, um, but you can scroll down now and see the Caruso Ava Maria Tiddler. Yeah. Drag that into your wiki. Uh, okay, here we go with this again. <laughs> yeah. See, this works. Oh, oh no, where'd it go? Um, okay, we want this one right here? Yep. I can just, oh yeah. Okay. and edit the Caruso and clone it. Oh, I'm sorry, clone it first. I meant to clone it first, yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's look at the clone. Okay, so let's suppose you have an MP3 file somewhere out there in the web. Okay, do you have one out in SoundCloud or something? Yep. Okay, so let's go, oh, it's in your spreadsheet, of course. Okay. Bear with me, I gotta scroll down to find it. Flicker. There. Oh, yep. yep. Uh, so go ahead and click on that, and we're gonna need to get that. That is not an MP3 yet. Nope, you can download it though. Okay, and once you download it, you yeah, in fact, you go ahead and download it to your um okay. Okay, hang on. Oh, Stop, Dad. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, where, where, where is the download? It's right there somewhere. You might have to sign in, but do, do, is this all already on your computer somewhere? Um, no, okay, that's fine. Actually, it should be. Well, let me just sign in quickly. Yep. I, can, I can quickly sign in and, and grab yeah. that. Yeah, easier than finding it, I know. <laughs> Not quite I hope that's, uh, that's not the right one. Maybe it will be easier to find it. <laughs> ah, there we go. There, there's like an an icon around you, somewhere around here for downloading. No. Um, you could also click on that orange thing, I think. Is there, a, is there a way to embed? Do they give you embed codes? Yeah, they do. I just got to find it. Um, hmm. One of the, maybe that. There's a share button across the top there or something like that. Or there it is. Yeah. Oh, there's the download right, right next to it. That. Yeah. That's a share button. Do they give you an embed? Um, yeah. Hey, yeah, grab that whole thing. Okay, I was thinking. Okay. And do, let's see, do they give you a map? Let me see what the message looks like. Well, this is if I want to send it to somebody. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but no, that's not an MP3 either. Click the share button. That's just going to give me a link. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. What's the end of that link look like? Doesn't end in dot .mp3. It's basic yeah. mouse training all the way at the end. Let me see. You get it. Yeah, just hit um shift right arrow or something like that. Yeah, It'll take it to the end. It's now. Uh, can't click into the link. Okay. Actually, that might be the entire link. Yeah, no, it's, it's not. But let's go paste. It's the same link that's up in your browser, I'm sure. So let's go paste your embed code in your Tiddler and let's see what it looks like. I'll do a new Tiddler. They will not give you, they're not giving you an MP3. No, but I, okay, give me a second. Let me, let me see if I can find it. Um, I want to go, I think it's in here. Audio. Oh, we should have just done this to begin with. So I'll make sure to clip all this out. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so we'll just drag one of those into your updog file. Uh, is I going to put it there or is it going to create a link? The nice thing is you don't actually have to. Oh, what did it do? Uh, is... All right, let me just, I'll just copy it and I'll just do it this way. I thought I could drag it in there, but it I don't... Oh, uh, it did. It did drag in. Okay. Yeah, there yep. it is right there. Yep. Okay. So um, create a directory called audio here. and stick your audio in there. Oops. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then go back to your brow to a browser. And um, it's going to be navigate to that on the web. So it's going to be um, it's a little weird to do this, but you'll you'll get it. So yeah, in a new tab. It's going to be uh, whatever you are dot up dog dot co. Whatever I oh um. You need, oh, yeah. let me just grab um. There it is. Yep. Yeah. Just click that, and it will. Yeah. Just yeah. click that. There we go. That's <laughs> yeah, just going to open the the. That's fine. 
But then after um, project one timeline, like, you know, where, where did you put the, you put audio right at the top, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So just, so we may odd, remove um, project one timeline and put audio slash. And then go back to your uh, finder or your desktop and grab that file name. You should, I th you should be able to right click on the file name, right? Yep. And grab it. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, whoops. Now I want to go away. The new tab. Yeah. It'll let me. Um, oh, there it is. And hit return. Let's say make sure it works. And it does. Perfect. Okay, so grab that URL. And you can imagine, of course, putting this in a spreadsheet and building this in Tiddly Wiki instead of doing it the hard way, which is what we're doing now. So go back to your wiki. And you've got that, um, not that one, that, you can get rid of that. Get rid of all this? Yeah, just get rid of the whole tiddler. We don't need that. That was, just delete the whole tiddler. Yeah. Okay. And now in this one, paste in that box there, paste the URL right there. Okay, and so that's called the canonical URI. And this is a special tiddler type audio slash MP3, which is why you can't use the type in your spreadsheet. You have this is the type field. Don't mess with it. Okay. <laughs> and um, change the name of it to whatever you want to call it. You can grab that from your spreadsheet. Yeah, I don't know what it's called, so I'm just going to put in audio is fine. Yeah, there you go. Um, but when you, when you import these audio records from a spreadsheet, create a field called type, a column called type, and a value audio slash MP3. Oh, okay. So in the spreadsheet, I need a column called type? You don't need a column called type, but if you, if you need some way to distinguish your audio files, your audio tiddlers, and you can use the XLS importer and create a constant. So you create a oh. field called type and a constant audio slash MP3. You oh. don't have to have the value in the spreadsheet, but you have to have it in the tiddler. Okay, I see. Okay. So then um, hit save, and this generates a really nice little player, and hit play, and it should play. Uh, I graduated from Very nice. Okay, so hit stop now, and let's edit this. And this is a, I, if you could find documentation for this feature, it's the HTML audio feature. I would be grateful. I learned it somewhere and I can't find the documentation. So I have to like go back through my old stuff to find this code every single time. Anyway, at the end of, at the end of that MP3, um, right there, um, it's pound T equals and then like one colon zero zero, like one minute, comma, one colon 10. And hit save. Oh, is that creating a snippet of it? I believe so, yes. Uh, I graduated from high school. Well, so maybe not, but close. Um, yeah. <laughs> go to the Design Right Google group. Um, yeah, so search for, yeah, search for the Google group. And, um, see, yeah, see if you can search for audio, maybe that'll work. Um, Yeah, search for strong. Just, just like, it's just a recent one. Um, podcast. There you go. Try that. Um, it's that second link, Project One Concept, which I just know, so that's not fair. Um, and 
Yeah, pound T equals, it's just like I wrote it there. See how at the end of that link? Uh, oh, down here. Okay. Yeah, pound T equals. Um, so yeah, if that doesn't work, I don't know. Scroll down, I, could, I, I had that working. Um, click on my, um, no, that's not it. That's, I had that working. Oh, well, I guess I didn't put it in a wiki. Um, well, that's okay. I mean, yeah. the clips that I, I've already, I've that already cut the clips down. That code works sometimes, and it's a little tricky to get it to work. But, um, yeah. but you, that's only if you need snippets. You don't really. So you just and need audio. So okay, we I've did. already done that. These these uh, MP3 files are already snippets. So there. Yeah, so we've got video, we've got audio, and now we've got photographs. While you're right there, click on that link, photo wiki, photo stream, right there. Uh. Photo stream. Right there, just click on that. Oh, this one right here? Yep. Oh, okay. And um, because I'm serving pictures, these are these are uh I don't remember how I'm serving these pictures. So um um close that and look at some yeah, let's just go to home on this wiki. Um, Probably have to open the sidebar. Oh, there it is. Where's the word go? I'll just pick any respondent. I, yeah. Okay, let's edit this. Okay, I'm get, definitely getting those pictures. How am I getting them? So I've got 50. Okay, so you have to find some pick tiddler. Search for pick 250. Go. That's good enough. Yeah, let's see. Let's look at this. Okay, so okay, so that's how you get an image that's on the web. It's going to be local, though, right? Um. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what I can do is I can just throw all the file. The, yeah, the they're going to be local. Right okay. Let's go put one of them in your Google Drive. All right, so let me go up a level. I'm just going to call, I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call it photos. Yep, exactly, right next to audio. Perfect. And actually, I can go into images because I was playing around with this earlier and uh, oh, let's grab Mr. Min. There you go. Because he is one of the photos. Okay, put Mr. Min in there. Over there, grab the name of the file. You're going to need that. You're not. Okay, so go back to your wiki. And um, yeah, go back to yours. Yeah, this is, I'm sorry I took you down a rabbit hole here. That's okay. And click the paper clip, the import button. And navigate to your photos. Uh, you know what? I think this this image is already in here, but let's okay. Let's just go through the process. But yeah, I mean, maybe it is, but I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, it might be, but yeah, I think it it might be, but yeah, it can't hurt. It'll tell us if it's already in here. Oh, I guess it's not. Okay, yeah, get it. Very nice. Okay, and now go back to design right. Search for images. And let's look at images, in downloading images. In, um, let's look at, I think it's external images. I'm not sure. Let's see. No, that's not it. Try. Uh, Importing images. No. no? Okay. Um, da -da 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 -da. You can drag them. Um, um, images in wiki text, maybe? There we go. Yeah, that's what we needed. 
Oh, in fact, there's a picture icon now. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've tried to use that, and well, I, I, I never, I, I haven't used that, so I, I just import them. But notice that it, see how it works now. So grab the code across the top, the first one. This code right here. Yep. Okay. And, and go to create a new tiddler. and paste it. Oh yeah, you need, oh, if not, if you had a clipboard buffer, you'd still have an <laughs> image in your buffer, yeah. so now you gotta go grab that. It's actually, it's in your wiki, yeah. You don't have to grab it from your file. You, should, you actually have to grab it from your wiki because that's what matters, not the name of the file, even though in your case, it's the same. Just grab it right from here? Yeah, exactly. And then replace Jack with a. Yep. There you go. Ah. And after the, um, I think go back to the design right. Um, yeah, you can do a width and a class and all that stuff. Oh yeah, down here. Okay. So if you want to make it small, make it width equals ten. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. It was, it was in here as after the IMG. Um, oh, okay. Yep. I'll there just grab that and then, uh, then I can change the back. Is, 32 is good. That's pretty small. <laughs> 10 is ridiculously small. Or, yeah, you want to put a space back and you want to put that bracket back. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's small. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, so that's but like what you could do with that is put, make it back to 32 or even 12. Tiny, tiny, but in front of it, type some text in front of the, yeah, right, right in front of the image, right now it's back, back, right, right there. Type some text once upon a time. Okay, and then, and now you can make a, um, a link, open angle bracket dollar sign link. Uh, open what bracket? Angle, a single angle bracket, dollar sign link, space, and then the word two equals, two equals, and then in, um, I think, and then, oh, the name of the tiddler, Ho Chi Minh.jpg. Copy and paste it so you don't have to, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's right there, yep. And close angle bracket. Um, right after JPG, right? After the JPG, close angle bracket. And then after the image, put a slash dollar sign link. Yeah, right there, slash dollar sign link. Uh, inside of angle bracket, sorry. close the bracket and now I think click on can you click on that link yeah oh very cool okay you could also instead of a link you could use the stretch text you know how we do stretch text in design right uh, no go back to design right and go home and oh this text here okay yeah no I don't know how to do that um, so edit the tiddler and it's a macro called, that one happens to be called Strex, S-T-R-E-X. So you could search for the macro Strex in design writing, copy it over. And if you search for stretch text, you'll get it. There it is. 
about, so pick about stretch text and um, that one, and then the other one, stretch text is actually a better explain, explain, explainer. This one? Yeah. That's not a macro, though. That just tells you how to use it. So you might not want to import it. You want the macro. That's the about one? Well, either way, but click on stretch text and it will show you. Yeah. Or like, yeah, the macros are described in there. So there's approach one and there's approach two. Oh, okay. Okay. But. Yeah, and there's um, usage. If you click on usage, it'll tell you how to use them. Click on usage. So first usage text stretch. They, there's two different macros that two different people wrote. I, I like the first one, so scroll that right there. Oh, usage, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and click on uh, Yeah, and then see, and then you can try it. There's the word label, and you click on it, and it's very simple. Okay. Basically, drag and drop it, and then you put the word strex, S-T-R-E-X, what you want to show, and then what you want to see. So, oh, okay. I guess I like the other one better, actually. Uh, approach two? Yeah, about stretch text. I like this one. I thought I, thought I was wrong. Um, so, let's scroll. Is there a demo? Scroll down. Oh, there's this. Stretch text is an old hypertext concept. Click on old. Oh, yeah. so you can have your little picture be first, you click on it, and then it will show you the big picture. That's oh, the okay. That's the thinking I want to see you do. That's like, oh, that would be cool. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It has to be cool. And I want you to think of using your different objects in different ways. Okay. So, but anyway, that's like, way beyond what you really needed to do. What you really needed to do was learn how to do those photo macros. You don't have to do any of the stretch tags or the little one, but it's cool. So let's go back to your wiki, and I think we did everything on your list. Yeah. Um, oops. Well, actually, the only other one that I was interested in figuring out how to do is to get the different tags in, because what I try to do... All right, let me, let me tags just... in. Decades. Okay, yeah. That's everything here. Um... Yeah, so we, we had, you had helped me create a just a generic tag called event. So I tried to add another tag, and it, what it did is it just it would only show one tag, whether it was event or whether it was one I think I called decades. It wouldn't give me more than one tag, and I'm not sure what I was doing wrong. So I'm not sure how to get multiple tags using the um, XLS importer. Oh, okay. Let me see your XLS importer. And um, let's edit the, scroll down. Um, so set field tags to constant event. Um, instead of set field, append to list field. Oh, okay. And then you can do a whole bunch of those and it, it, call, it creates something called list field. You can see what that is. It's basically tags as a list field. It's a list of tags. Yeah, okay, and then this, so yeah. would I have to add each, a, a new uh, field for each um, type of tag? Each tag is going to have its own little purple box there, yes. Okay, okay. You're not actually adding a new field, but yes, you're appending to the list field called tags. But right. everything you want to append, you have to append in a separate purple box. All right, so if yeah. I want to do one for a decade, I would add a, add a new auto. field, which is what you just said, and I was being very careful and saying, you know, you don't really add a new field, so technically you click the add a new field button, but you want to append to a list field. I'll have to yell at Jeremy for that because that's confusing. So click okay. add to field. So do you want to add a new field? Yep, and then. I'm going to say append. Yep, tags. And then tags. And constant, and then I think one of them was decades. So that means every single tiddler is going to be tagged decades. Ah, uh, see, now that's what I don't want it to uh, yeah, yeah, so do. You want, you want the value of the decade in the field called decades. Yes. 
So let's look at your spreadsheet. So I created a column here called decade. Right. You want a field called decade and the value is so and so but you wanted it to be then you wanted it to be tag 1960s. Yeah, because what I was going to do is capture all of the um, all of the related events. So I, I'm basically trying to build a TOC using yeah. the um, Okay, you you can. Yes, I see what you mean. You you're um, What you're coming up against is a is a, something that's very interesting in the evolution of TiddlyWiki users is that you're coming to a, attention in the way that tags are used. And so you want the functionality of the tags, but you, you, they need to be created as fields. Um, you could, if you wanted the decade to be a tag, then create a, a Go back to your, um, yeah, go back to your, so now you want to append to list field the string from decades and 60, 1960s will be a tag. Oh, okay. So instead of decades, it's going to be. No, it's decades. Oh, this, oh actually, should it be, does it have to be the same name as the, the, or the, the cell in the spreadsheet? No, the column that has to be from the, from you want to append to list field tags, the string from column. It's not a constant. Decades. Okay, actually, I think I, all right, so let me change that to decades just so we're saying the same thing in both. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. You're going to have to read, if you change it, you're going to have to redownload. A decade is fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's change it then. Change it back. Yeah. I mean, it's still, you have to, you, yeah, let's not change it. You don't, it's that way you don't have to re-download it. So you want to append to list field tags the string from column decade. That means every tiddler is going to get the value of the column decades as a tag. That's good. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Now, what you're going to need to do, this is, and this is where it's a little interesting. Um, you can either do this manually or you can do it automatically. If you're doing a large data set, you do it automatically. Go back to your spreadsheet. Are you a, uh, are you a spreadsheet guru? Mm, I wouldn't call myself a guru, but... Uh, do you do pivot tables? Uh, you know, I've never used that function, so in this I, I would be a greenhorn at. Okay. Um, and this is Excel, right? Right. Okay. I don't actually even know how to do this in Excel anymore, but let's try it. <laughs> data insert pivot table, maybe? Under data? Oh, under data. Um, hmm. Yeah, I just don't do Excel anymore because it's... So, Piggy, um, try insert. Maybe it's on the insert. I kind of. Oh, pivot table right there. There it is. Okay. Insert pivot table. Um, so you want. Uh, I don't know. You want like, you now you have to go. I hate Excel. So go back and cancel this and go get. Column. You have to know the column name. It's so dumb. Column B, okay. Insert pivot table on column B. I'll change those B, A's to B's. Maybe if you highlighted B, it would have actually done it automatically. Try that. Try highlighting the column B. Yeah, you're right. I think if you do highlight things. Yeah, try pivot table. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, new worksheet. Perfect. Oh my, you're kidding. I don't know what it did. <laughs> Click on decade there, I think. There it is. Okay, so at some point you could, in, you could, they, they, I mean, they, it, it, Google Sheets does this much more cleanly, but you have to manually get rid of those two rows at the top and, um, 
And now you could, back in your spreadsheet, you could insert sheet one or rename sheet one as decades. Rename this sheet right here? Yeah. You probably don't want a capital E there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, see if it will let you get rid of um, over on the on your pivot table stuff. You can probably get rid of the grand labels or something. There's probably an option that you can click off of. Uh, um, scroll down maybe. No. Uh, in the pivot table, you know. Yeah, there's really nothing else to scroll down. I don't have a scroll bar. Okay, so um, under rows, is there a click that pull down on rows? Is there a... Uh, oh, remove field? No, I don't want to remove the field. You want to remove the... Um, I don't know. You want to remove the grand total, but we can just live with it. There's a way to turn off the total so that's not reported. Maybe if you right click on it, it'll turn it off for you. Uh, remove grand total. There it is. There you go. And remove the. And so there's blanks too. So I don't know why there there shouldn't be blanks, but that's fine. Okay. So that that, I just call that, in. Yeah, but you want to go back and insert another row. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, yeah, don't. You can't. No, no, no. You can't add the inside of the pivot table. But insert a, co a row across the top. You should have left one of them there. Let's change the report. Um, so anyway, when you go back and do it again, just leave a row at the top, um, and then oh, it's, you should have one there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that'll work. So then you can import a sheet called decades, column row labels, and create a tiddler called 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, and tag each tiddler as a decade. So do you get what I'm talking about? Uh, not really. <laughs> so if, you, if you go back to your um, to your wiki, and now you want to scroll up to the pink, and you want to close the content sheet and add a new sheet. Um, I think if you open workbook. Maybe if you edit the workbook. Yeah, add new sheet. Oh, yeah. And the sheet is called decade, or decades, I think, with a capital D. You want to add a new row. And you want to add a new field. And you want to set field decade. I'm sorry, set field title. Oops. To the string from column, I think it was called row name or something, with the space. Um, row label? Row labels, period, or row labels, plural, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, wait, was there a space? I don't know, we'll see. It, it, yeah, I'll find out. Make, make um, column A wide. Yep, there's a space, okay. Oops. Oh. Yeah. Well, I hope this works, but it's row labels. And that's good. And then add another new field. So you're going to create a tiddler that's called 1940s. And now you want to set the field tag to the string constant. And you want to tag 1940s as a decade. Not as 1940s, as a decade. Okay, and so yeah, save this and save your wiki.
and let's import. Probably not going to work. So we're going back to the original spreadsheet then, right? Yep. To the SLSX file, which should be somewhere. Yep. Decades, D E C A D E S. Go so go look at your spreadsheet and what's it called? It's called Decade, I bet. It's called D E C A D E S. D E C A D E S. Okay. Oh, save it. You have to save it. Oh yeah, that would help. That would probably help. So just re-import it. Yep. I'm not sure if this is a, let me. Oh, it, it got it. Yeah, that, it got it. Look, there's 1950s. Good. Oh, all right. So go ahead and import. Yeah. Let's look at World War II or something. Any one of them. Pick one. Ah, look at that. 1940s. Click. Oh, there's all the 1940s. Very nice. Navigate to 1940s. And edit it, and it's tag decade. Click on decade. Decade tag. And you have all your decades. Oh, it works. Very nice. And we have blank. <laughs> well, yeah, because you got a blank. I wonder what the blank is. Well, I'll, I'll have yeah, to clean that up. Yeah, or don't have blanks. Um, that's cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's a little tricky. That wasn't really obvious. The uh, pivot table is a key and you can do that with any of your tags. You can make a separate sheet with each pivot table. And that's how you get one of each of the things that are in that column. That's what a pivot table is in effect. Okay. So um, you wanted it for all the different tags. I don't remember what they were, but. Well, yeah. Um, some of them I, I won't be able to do with this manner because I don't have them as columns um, over here. Um, actually, I probably don't, now that I think about it, I probably don't need to do that function with the other ideas that I have for tags. Okay. I'm not sure if it really has any merit now. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. I guess I'd have to play around with it and think about it again. So decades video, yeah. So every so not we we every video you have to have a column for um, media type, and it's either a video, it's an audio. Right? Yes. So I'd have to play around with the, uh, the the spreadsheet again. So which is fine. I can certainly do that. Yeah, it's just it's a it's constant balancing act, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Okay. Luckily. You know, we used to have to do this. It was, uh, oh, so painful. You take your spreadsheet, have to save it as a CSV, go to some external program, import it as JSON, save it as JSON, import it as JSON. Oh, it didn't work. You'd have to do five more steps to try it again. Uh, now it's like boom, 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 boom. So it's really, and it's very sophisticated. The, that, that ability to do the pivot table is really nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that was, I've never seen that done before. So there we go. I made it up as we went along. <laughs> and it's being recorded, so we have it. And you need a landing titler, I agree. You need to format the output of the titlers better. Yes, I agree. Better subtitle for the wiki. You can call it whatever you want, of course, right? Yeah, that, I was just, like I said, I was just jotting things down, okay. things to yeah. check off. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not for me then, yeah. No, no, not no. all this was. Yeah, do you know CSS at all? No. Okay. Um, it's fine by me if you want to invest your time in learning it. And if you think that's a skill that would be really helpful for you, then you can very finely control the look and feel of each tiddler using CSS. Yeah. If, you're more, if you're more interested in the management of data and understanding how you get bits of data to show in different places, like the stuff that we've been working on, that's my, that's, um, you know, I find that interesting. And, and to me, that's more about hypertextual writing than CSS. The styling is, not as interesting from a learning point, but if you're interested in it, I would certainly support you going whole hog in CSS. If not, don't worry about the way that things look at. When you say format, I see style. If you want to talk about 
structure or architect the output, we've got lots to talk about. Yeah, I think it was more of um, just trying to control the order that the um, architecture. All them. Yeah, so architecture. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. And that's all in the template. So what I'll do is I'll just change that to. I think that's called information architecture these days. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. So, and that's what you're doing. I can't spell architecture either, by the way, so you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I probably haven't misspelled them. There's an extra T in there. Yeah, there's a T after the first C. That's the beauty of spell check. There we go. No, it's right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You know, I never use spell check. I just keep changing it until it's right. Isn't that dumb? Oh, I just let, you know, I, I can usually spell very well. It's just, oh, yeah. I just like, I'm, I'm just not, you know, I didn't grow up with it. So I'm happy when they tell me I spelled it wrong, but I always forget that they can fix it for me. So, um, yeah, I think that will wrap us for tonight if you're, if you, you got plenty to work with, right? Oh, yeah. This will keep me busy all weekend. So that's exactly what I needed. Yeah. And I would so much appreciate it if you, posted the YouTube and sort of, and you can, if you, you can stick it, if you make a titler, sort of like mine and send me the, um, like, do you know how to export a titler? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So just send me the, that, the tid file or the JSON as an attachment to email and I'll put it right in design, right? Oh, that's right. Okay. You're hand at this. You know how to do this. Uh, I haven't done it in a while, but I remember how to do it. Yeah. You know, it's, I think it's on the more, more info or the down arrow. It's, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's right here. Um, export. Yeah, any fo any format is fine except for HTML, of course. JSON or TID. Yeah, I'll go with a I'll go with a TID. Yep, you can actually stick it in your um, in your Google Drive and send me a link to it. Okay, so now in that Tiddler, you want me to uh, have the annotated uh, video then, right? Yeah, you can use all the YouTube macros and little table of con, you know, just we've got, we did three things and that would be very cool. I'd be kind of curious to see how you pull it together. Okay. Yeah, I'll try. If I can't get it up uh, before no I um, go to work tomorrow, it'll be up uh, sometime this weekend. Yeah, no rush. Great. Thanks, John. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to stop. Um, yeah, uh, we're going to end the meeting and we're all good to go. All right. Thank you, Dr. Schneider. Yeah.